Welcome back to my channel. This video, we're going to be doing a flip through of my design team project for Lavender Blue. I used Chevy Roses and Chevy Roses um, that are patterned. Uh, I also added in some uh, children's tea party. There's some lovely soft colors in that digital kit that I wanted to incorporate into this. Um, I've also added in some public domain images, uh, just some black and white images throughout. Um, this journal is five and a quarter inches wide, about uh, seven and three quarters tall, and I have a two inch spine. The cover is made from uh, chipboard and covered in this really pretty wallpaper. And the spine is covered with a bit of lace and some very pale, um, almost sagey green uh, sari silk and some pearls added to it. On this clip, I have added different types of strings and um, uh, hemp, I believe it's called, and some sari silk some pearls and I've also strung some of the pearls on this a few here and there and then added a pearl button and that just clips to the spine give you a closer look I've used different types of laces and appliques some uh, cheesecloth some burlap and a little bit of this pink trim which is really pretty. I have a sari silk tie and it's just white. I have six signatures, some tabs, a little bit of lace, and some of these little applique flowers. All right, let's get it onto the inside of the book. The main signatures are the Shabby Roses kit, and that comes in uh, decorated pages, six decorated pages, and six, six lined pages. Um, I put the lined on the inside, and I did um, adhere them to each other. Uh, here in the first pocket. With the Shabby Roses patterned kit, uh, there are bits of ephemera, and this is one of the envelopes. And inside, I just have some index cards stamped on the back with daily notes. And that gets tucked into the front pocket, which is just a bit of muslin and a little bit of lace added onto the top of the pocket. Three of the signatures have um, the CD envelopes, and in the CD envelope, I've put a printed image of um, public domain, and I just love the, the shape and the design, the line drawing. So it's a little journaling spot to tuck into your little window. And this, I believe, is from Children's Tea Party. And then these are some of the bits of ephemera from Shabby Roses. And I'll try to go through this very quickly. There are six signatures, um, quite a few pages here. And this is a, just a bit of ledger paper folded over, um, added some of the public domain images to create a pocket. And this is one of the envelopes. This is children's tea party. And I just used a whale tail tab so that you could tuck the little top in. This is one of the um, bits of ephemera. I folded it in half and glued it together to make a little journaling spot. Little white butterflies throughout. And again, this is uh, Shabby Rose's patterned digital kit and these butterflies came with it, but these are part of children's um, tea party. 
And these are one of my favorite tags that Fiona creates. I just love the shape of it. Um, did some stenciling throughout on my tea stained paper. Um, center of the signature, the strings I kept and just put these little flowers. They're little punched flowers and a little um, half pearl. Uh, some stamping. And on this one is one of the tags backed by Manila. And I found these really cool things. These are called um, bottle wraps. And it comes in, you know, there's quite a few in here. And I just cut a section off and create a little tab here. And later in the book, you'll find I used uh, a portion of it and made a little pocket. A little bit of stamping. Another fussy cut. And this is grade school um, when you're learning how to draw your letters and numbers. And a little bit of a stamp on that. And there's a tab with the dangle. Another little pocket. This is from the CD envelope, uh, creating just a tiny little pocket here. And little bits of the ephemera backed by Children's Tea Party and Manila Folder. Um, I created these pockets quite a while ago, and I'm sorry I don't remember who I got them from. Um, I will update if I can find it. But if anybody knows, please do um, put the person's name in here. Um, they are adorable. I absolutely love them. I added a little uh, stamped uh, word on muslin. And here is one of the bits of ephemera backed by Manila cart, um, Manila folder. Sorry. More of that writing paper. And here's that little pocket, and it's just got a little tiny tag in it. And I used, uh, I have clear inkjet sticker paper, and I printed out a bunch of roses. I believe these roses were from Artie Mays. And another bit of the public domain, one of the bingo cards backed by index card. And this is actually one of Fiona's printables. Um, I don't remember the name of it, but I'll make sure it's listed down below. Uh, it's just lined paper, and I had a bunch printed off, so I wanted to go ahead and throw those in here. And the center of this one, this is another one of those clear sticker um, paper, what am I trying to say? Um, decals, I guess. And another side of the paper, and this is from Children's Tea Party again, a little white butterfly. And this one, um, I used one of the bits of ephemera, the little uh, postcard, and turned it into a pocket for one of the tags. And that just tucks in there. And another bit of ephemera, another postcard from the kit. And this is another one of the public domain images. Another postcard turned into a tuck. A little bit of edge punching here, and another dangle. The next CD envelope, again, same thing, just printed off a bit of that beautiful design for you to journal on. Um, fussy cut butterfly and some stamping on tea stained CD envelopes. And here is one of the little envelopes turned into a journaling spot. This is tea stained graph paper. And that just tucks in there. And great school paper, another of the stickers. And this envelope is also in the kit. And she added uh, this long piece and I just turned it into a little tab for the envelope. And nothing, empty. Another one of the bits of ephemera backed by Children's Tea Party. I like the fun little polka dots. Um, 
this is another pocket from the kit and I put a little bit of uh, lace applique on there and children's tea party this is shabby roses patterned and then those great uh, tags again wow my throat is really drying out <clears throat> so bear with me please it's getting a little raspy um, some stamp stamping here this is tea stained paper again the center with the flowers and another one of those tabs a decoupa um, I'm sorry fussy cut this and uh, glued it down onto regular um, like ledger kind of ledger paper this is one of her uh, cards I believe it's part of the um, freebies for her uh, Facebook group and that tucks in there a little fabric lace pocket and another one of the bingo cards and some more of that grade school paper and stamping the signatures are all very similar um, there's three with the CD pocket and three let's see what the second one has with this particular pocket so the flap from the CD holds another envelope part of the kit and this is just some of the paper from Children's Tea Party and turned into a journaling spot. And this is the one, two, this is actually the fourth signature. This is one of the bits of ephemera. Beautiful postcard. Another word on muslin, stamped and then glued down. And here's one of the pockets with a little tag. Another one of the ephemera envelopes. And some more of that writing paper. And another one of the uh, big tags from the kit. And um, some more bits of ephemera. One to make a tuck and the other one for a journaling spot. And here's another one of the tags, backed by index card. And another tag, and that tucks back behind here. This opens up into a little journaling spot. There's tons of writing spot, writing space in this journal. And here's another dangle with a lock and um, string of pearls. This would probably work really well for someone's wedding journal. And some more of that beautiful digital um, public domain image. Fussy cut butterfly again, stamping. Another little bit of ephemera, backed by children's tea party again. I love that little pop of blue polka dots. It's just so fun. Paper. And here's one of the other pockets. And uh, envelope, I'm uh, not pockets, envelope. And we'll tell tab to close it. Another one of the tags. A little bit more of the um, lace fabric on the pocket from the kit. That tea stain turned out really pretty. Another one of the bits of ephemera turned into a tuck spot. And here's the other envelope that's part of the kit. And another tag. Another bit of the public domain. And here is another dangle. 
And this pocket has a little tiny tag, a little label for you to add wherever you like, and a couple of Admit One tickets that are part of the kit. And this one says Kindness, another one of those lovely uh, postcard ephemera from the kit. And again, little bird tag. And one of the public domain images, uh, this actually looks like a, a pond and um, there's a bit of a wall here, uh, some gates, some trees. It's a beautiful image. And just index card backed. Another one of the tall tags. Little bits of ephemera from the kit. Sorry, my dryer keeps beeping. It's done its cycle and now it's doing its anti-wrinkle. Warning me. Um, another little dangle, two little beads. And that is the end of the sixth signature. And in this back pocket, this is one of Fiona's freebies. I did um, a stamp on here and then added a little tab on lined paper. Another one of the bits of ephemera postcard and the last little tag from the kit. Let's tuck in there. And that is the end of my design team project for Lavender Blue. Please do go check out her kits. They are absolutely lovely. She has a ton new kits out there and uh, uh, there's something for everyone. All right, thank you everyone for watching. Please do like and subscribe. Um, I do appreciate every one of you. Um, any comments that you make, um, absolutely love uh, the interaction. So have a wonderful day and until the next video, we'll see you later.